Hey guys, it's Talia here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a really, really exciting video. As you would have seen from the little montage I put at the start of the video, I'm going to be talking to you today about the Split Ender Pro and the Split Ender Mini, which are new hair tools that I've found that do absolute wonders for my hair. So I thought it would only be fair to share it with you guys. I do get people asking all the time how my hair is so like sleeky and shiny. Um, I know it doesn't look it very much at the minute, but that is because I'm going to be sorting it out today, so I thought I'd show you guys how I do it. So I had heard loads about the split ender before this, so I thought I would go and give it a try. Also, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Split Ender UK for sponsoring this video. They did kindly send me these products and they have given me a discount code to share with you guys. So I will let you guys know what that is in a second. Here is the Split Ender Pro 2, and honestly guys, I can hand on heart say that this is the single most useful thing that I have found my hair. And every time oh, and every time I use it, my hair feels softer and looks shinier. And apparently getting rid of your split ends makes your hair grow faster, so that's also a plus. So I'm not gonna lie, at first I was really scared to use this, and you guys will hear why in a second. It is quite loud and it looks quite scary, but it is absolutely fine. It doesn't take any length off of my hair. I have used it before. I used it about, I think it must have been about two months ago, and it didn't take any length off my hair. It just took all the split ends out and made it look really, really nice. You can literally use it from the top of your hair to the lengths, and your hair will stay completely undamaged. And it is a must have for any girl like me who really cares about their hair because I do get questions about my hair all the time. So I'm hoping this is gonna help you out. So I did reach out to the brand and they did give me a £10 discount code, which I'm allowed to share with you guys. So it is Talia, all in capitals. Oh. All in capitals, I will leave it on the screen and the link to the website will be in the description box below as always. So there are three different models um, of the Split Ender Pro, but I'm first going to show you how to use them and sort of what they do. I have the Split Ender Pro 2 and I have the Split Ender Mini, so I'm going to be showing you both of them and I'm going to recommend which one I think you should use. So whilst the Split Ender Pro is charging, I'm going to be showing you the Split Ender Mini and this one is batteries and obviously the big one you have to charge. So with the mini you get obviously the split ender, you get a comb which is really really handy, you get a clip so when you're like sectioning your hair it's obviously easy to keep your hair out of the way and then you also get this little brush which is used to like clean out the hairs of the um little what is that called? The compartment where the hair goes in. That's probably not what it's called. A lot of people, including me, before I heard about the split ender, thought that the split ends were just like the ends of your hair, the bits that are like all different lengths. That's what people assume are split ends. The split ends actually literally start from up here and go all the way down your hair. So if you were to like plait your hair um, and you see all them little bits sticking out and then, you know, people try and cut them out. That's what the split ends are, but that would take absolutely ages if you were to try and sit there and cut out all your split ends with scissors. So the split ender literally just does it all for you. It's so easy. I know that mine are going to be so bad because I haven't done this in ages, but I don't know if you can see. There are lots of like stray hairs sticking out and the split ender is going to get rid of all of them. I remember when I was younger, I always just go to the hairdresser and just ask for them to like take off two inches of the bottom because I think that would get rid of all my split ends but now that I've found this tool I actually feel like such an idiot when I think back to what I was doing because clearly that's just not how it works <laughs> and you do actually have to get rid of all the split ends that are all the way up your hair. They recommend you use the split ender every like six weeks just to like sort of stay on top of it and basically what happens is so I'm just gonna like quickly show you how to use it so there's a lock on the back and you want to put a lock off like that and you get like a small piece of hair, so say I was just going to do this front piece and you want the arrow that's lit up to be facing down so the arrow should always be facing down and you put it on and you clamp this, it's going to make a really loud noise, it is quite scary guys, listen it's quite scary but it, it does the job so basically you're just going to put it in your hair right at the top like that and you're going to clamp down and go all the way down and it does actually get rid of the split ends and as you can see that's literally just from one one going down one you know what i'm trying to say um, that's just from doing it once and you can see all the split ends in that and they recommend you doing it three times on the same strip and then one more time Already my hair feels so much softer. 
There is no split ends that I can see because they are all in here. Yeah, this is quite rank, but that is all the split ends from my hair. So it really does work. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do like the rest of my head. I might like section it using the comb and the clip. So I have just done this half of my hair and it feels so soft and so smooth and it actually does look really shiny and I cannot see any split ends and if I compare it to the other side there is absolutely loads. I don't know if it's going to even be possible to show you um, but this is the side I have done and it is all nice and smooth and sleeky and then this side has still got loads of split ends in and looks quite rough. So I'm going to go ahead and do this side now. Okay, so I have just finished the bottom layer of my hair and my hair is feeling so nice, like it's so soft. I'm going to show you how much split ends have come out. That is actually just rank, isn't it? Yeah, you could tell I really needed to do this. Um, but it just proves that it does work, so it's kind of good that you get to see the result. I'm going to do the top half of my head with the Split Ender Pro 2 and then I'm going to talk about which model I recommend and which one I'll probably use the most. Okay guys, so I have just finished my whole head and my hair is feeling so soft and so smooth. I've missed this feeling. I'm actually annoyed at myself. I left it so long to do this again, but it feels so, so lush. And as you can see, once again, there are so many hairs in here, which... But yes, my hair feels absolutely lovely. As I said before, there are actually three models of the Split Ender you can use. There's the Split Ender Pro, the Split Ender Pro 2 and the Split Ender Mini. I don't have the Split Ender Pro because that is one that you'd normally use in like salons or for professional hair care use, which obviously you can use if you really want to. But if you're going to be using it at home like I am, then I recommend either getting the Split Ender Pro 2 or the Split Ender Mini, which are the ones that I have. The Mini, which is this one, is £79.95. And then this is the Pro 2, which is £149.95. Here is the difference between the two. So obviously this one is a lot smaller. This one's more like bulky and this one is heavier this one is quite light so i think if you're aiming to take this more seriously and really look after your hair then i'd recommend the pro 2 just because it seems to work more efficiently and it seems to get out more of the split ends if i'm like comparing the two i don't know if you can see but comparing the two there seems to be a lot more hair in this side i mean obviously this one does the job too but i think if you're taking it like seriously this one is probably better and it's also rechargeable which is obviously really convenient this is battery. And you can also get this in two different colours. So you can get it in red or black. Then, of course, the mini still works just as well. And it is, obviously, a lot less expensive. You can also get this in three different colours. You can get it in silver, blue, and pink, I'm pretty sure. Obviously, it's mini, so you can take it with you travelling. So this is probably a better idea if you're, like, first starting out and you sort of want to test it a little bit. I'd say definitely get the mini, especially if you travel a lot. Having this for me is probably going to be easier because... I don't need to bring a charger, I can literally just bring a few extra batteries. It's smaller, cheaper, you can take it around, so 
They both have their own pros, and obviously this one is probably better, and if you want to take it more seriously, you can definitely use this one, but if you're planning on like travelling or just starting out, then I'd go with the mini. So yes, that is the Split Ender. I'm so, so glad I was able to work with Split Ender and show you this product, because I literally get questions about my hair all the time. Honestly, if you check my TikTok comments, all the questions are, how do you get your hair so soft and shiny? And I can proudly say that it is thanks to these. I used them a couple months ago in a shoot, and I absolutely fell in love with them. So I'm so glad I've got my own to use on my hair. I recommend you all going to get one because even though you might think it's a little bit expensive, it's 100% worth it. And I know there's so many girls that want to grow out their hair, but they think they need to keep on getting it trimmed like this much every time they go to the hairdresser to get rid of the split ends. But trust me, if you want your hair to still grow, but you do want to get rid of your split ends, then go get one of these because... My hair just now feels all nice and I can't stop touching it. And of course they have given me the £10 off so that you can use the code TALIA which is all in capitals. And once again I will leave the link in the description. If you go to their website, use my code, you can get £10 off which is very very convenient. So if you do want to go grab a mini, instead of it being £79 it is only £69 with my discount code. So. I really think it's worth it. And trust me girls, this will be the best thing you buy for your hair. Thank you so, so much for watching and thank you again to Split Ender Pro for sponsoring this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and you learned something and hopefully you will go and purchase it. Go do it, trust me. That is all for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment what you thought about it and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye!